Hello and welcome. I am Muko Alfred Fan. I want to talk to you today about four basic steps you can take to increase your self worth in the marketplace. Four basic steps you can take to increase your self worth in the marketplace. You know that the world is a global village. The world is a, is a marketplace and it's a global village. This is so because of the advancement in technology, internet has made the world to become a global village. And as in any village, any typical village, there are people in a village that exchange goods and services in the marketplace. Take any village, typical village setting for instance, there has to be people in that village and there have to be commodities to be traded in a village. So also in the world, the world, because of internet, the advancement in technology has become a global village. Once goods and services are traded, are exchanged, money comes into the picture. Now, the perceived value of a commodity in the marketplace determines its price. What does this mean? It means that in a typical village setting, when goods and services are taken to the marketplace, the price of those services is determined by its value, by the value of those goods. Now, the question for my intelligent audience is this. Can a person, can an individual have a market value? Do I have a market value? Can I increase my market value? We know about football. Footballers, they are sold and bought based on their perceived market value. Now, how can you increase your self-worth? Look at Forbes magazine tells us about the self-worth of the billionaires of this world. How can you increase your self-worth in the marketplace? Now, in talking about self-worth value, two things come into mind. The value of a commodity in its raw form is different from the value of the same commodity in its refined form. What it means is that the value, the value of a commodity in its raw form is far cheaper than the value of the same commodity when it has been processed. Now, what happens is that in the raw form, we have the material in its crude stage, the raw, the undeveloped stage, and the naive stage. So if this were a human being now, if this were an individual now, you have the individual in his crude form, in his natural form, and you will see the same individual when he has been refined. So in his crude form, in his raw form, in his undeveloped form, in his naive form, and then the same individual when he has been refined, processed, sophisticated, and has become cultured, what suddenly happened? What took place was that skill was applied. You know, when skill is applied to a crude stage of a product, to the crude stage of a, when skill is applied to the crude stage of a product, the same product increases in value. So for humans, for a person, for an individual, when you apply skill to yourself, to your gift and talent, what happens is that your value increases, your self-worth increases. Now, which brings us to the definition of a skill. Skill is a training that is given to an individual to develop expertise. Skill is a training given to an individual to develop expertise. So four things come to mind in that definition. Skill identification. First of all, you must have a skill idea. With skill idea, we mean you discover what giftings and talents do you have. What natural gifting and talent do you have? That is the crude stage, your crude stage. What natural giftings and talents do you have? And then skill plus identification. Where will these talents and gifts be honed? Where will these talents and gifts be trained? And then skill 
training and acquisition. How will this skill be trained and the process, the practical process? In skill training and acquisition, we are talking about practical training, not just theoretical training, because you want to develop the, the crew stage, you want to apply technology, you want to apply machine, you want to apply quality to the crew stage of your giftings and, and talents. So there have to be a practical practice. You have to practice it. So theoretical knowledge is not enough. You have to be physically practicing it in that place of acquisition. And then the fourth stage is the skill maintenance and skill mastery. Now, in skill maintenance, this is where they, you have been trained now, you have acquired the skill, and you keep on servicing that skill, and you deploy it to solve challenges in your immediate environment, to solve basic challenges in your immediate environment. So these are the four basic steps you need to take in order to increase your self-worth in a marketplace. I'd like to see you sending your comments, and if you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe to this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.